Hello, I am Anisha here. This is the third video in this set mathematical physics. If you like my channel, please subscribe my channel and uh, like the video. If there is any doubt or any suggestion, you can ask freely in the comment section. In this video, I discuss about the error analysis of a function and some problems on error analysis. First topic is error analysis of a function. Error analysis of a function. If y is a function of x1 and x2, then the error delta y is equal to under root dou y by dou x1 delta x1 all square plus dou y by dou x2 delta x2 all square. Once again, if y is a function of x1 and x2, then delta y is equal to under root dou y by dou x1 delta x1 all square plus dou y by dou x2 delta x2 all square. The diffraction peak of a crystalline solid occurs at a scattering angle of 30 degree. When x rays of lambda equal to 0 0.15 nanometer is used, if the error in the measurement of wavelength is 0 0.01 nanometer, and the angle is 1 degree, then the error in the inner planar spacing will be. Here the question is asked about the diffraction pattern. Then the general equation is n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta. From this question it is clear that n is 1, then lambda equal to 2d sin theta. Then the inner planar distance d is equal to lambda by 2 sin theta. From it, it is clear that d is a function of lambda and theta that is delta d is equal to under root dou d by dou lambda delta lambda all square plus dou d by dou theta delta theta all square which is equal to Dou d by dou lambda is here 1 by 2 sin theta is con constant. Uh, la um, dou lambda by dou lambda is 1. That means 1 by sin 2 sin theta delta lambda all square plus dou d by dou theta. Here lambda by 2 is constant and 1 by sin theta differential is minus 1 by sin square theta. Then sin theta differential is cos theta into delta theta all square. Substituting values that means 1 by 2 sin theta sin 30 is 1 by 2. Delta theta is 0 0.01 all square plus lambda is 0 0.15 divided by 2 into minus 1. Sin 30 is 1 by 2, square is 1 by 4, into cos 30 is root 3 by 2, into uh, lambda, uh, delta theta is 1, which will become radian, then pi by 180, all square. Compared to the first term, second term is negligible, that means 0 0.01. Okay. Next problem is, the thorium sample is found to emit 49 alpha particle in 30 minutes. Then what is the emission per minute? From this problem, the uncertainty is given by root mean square value. That means the sigma is equal to under root 1 by, 1 by n, sigma equal to 1 to n xi minus 6 0 all square that is error in 30 minutes is root of 49 that is 7 then the best estimate best estimate in 30 minutes is 49 plus or minus 7 that is in 1 minute 
49 by 30 plus so minus 7 by 30 which is equal to 46, 45 by 30 is 1.5 then approximately 1.6 plus so minus 7 by 28 is 1 by 4 that is 1.6 plus so minus 1 by 4 is 0.2 Okay. The last problem is two physical quantities P and capital M are related as P is equal to 2 pi by A under root M plus B by 2 where A and B are constant parameters variation of P as a function of capital M is recorded experimentally to determine A. M P square graph is drawn and it has slope small m with the uncertainty is delta M. The uncertainty in A is, here there is given a relation between P and capital M. We want to graph uh, M P square graph. That means square the equation that is P square is equal to 4 pi square by A square M plus B by 2. Split the terms that is P square is equal to 4 pi square divided by A square M by 2 plus 4 pi square by A square B by 2. That means y is equal to by comparing this with the equation of straight line y is resembles with the t square and x is resembles with the m capital m that means small m slope is equal to 4 pi square by 2 a square that means a square is equal to 4 pi square by 2 m which is a is equal to under root 2 pi by root m that means using the formula of error analysis, delta A by A is equal to constant the going out. That means power of M is 1 minus 1 by 2. That means the 1 by 2 delta M by M. Okay.